guys so today i'm going to explain on the mechanism of the spiral sky so it's quite simple so this is a roughly sketch on the pro sky it consists of pro sky h3 and h3 pbi3 and we have our whole transport materials by romeo tet we also have our electron transport layer which is normally used titanium dioxide and also we also have the the metal electrode which is um, gold so this is the roughly the layer include we have the fto the term transport material perovskite layer whole transport material and gold so how it works so before we want to know how it works we want to know the characteristic process by the perovskite why normally nowadays people are tend to shift to the perovskite solar cell because it possesses excellent photoelectric properties lower excitant binding energy high optical absorption coefficient and also perovskite is like absorbing layer absorb solar energy efficiently and with large dielectric constant lead to electron holes um, can be effectively transmitted simultaneously and collected and also the transmission distance is very large so means that can produce longer electron lifetime that reduce the recombination effect and produce high power conversion efficiency so how it works is quite simple is follow the generation solar energy mechanism of conventional silicon solar cell so first of all the photon you can see the photon when the photon struck the perovskite layer is divided into two where the um, negatively charged will absorb the energy where the we have an atoms inside the perovskite and whatever atoms is surrounding by negative and positive so the negatively charged electron surrounding the atom in the crystal lattice what will it do the negatively charged electron will be promoted to the conductive electronic band we can see here it will be promoted or excited to the conductive electronic state in the crystal known as crystal band conduction band so the negatively charged will be promoted to the conduction band while the positively charged called hole will be left behind in the valence band which is the lower excited state so then what happened because we have a um, simultaneous separation between negatively charged and whole what happened if the positively charged and negatively charged can be collected in the opposite electrode because we study in the semiconductor when we can um, collect it in opposite electrode normally in electrolysis or whatever chemistry cell we have anode and cathode when we can collect it um, the charge at the opposite electrode in solar cell known as anode negatively charged and cathode positively charged so we the charge itself can conduct electric current through an external circuit at the same time the potential different the potential different produced by positive and negative charge that collected at the cathode and anode and anode will produce a voltage so we study in physics to get when we have a voltage and also we have a current so we can get a new energy which is solar energy so it's quite the same uh, principle working by the silicon solar cell by having the by having the semiconductor uh, properties so by having the generation of electron and hole simultaneously and the charge collected by the opposite opposite what we call that opposite electrode it can produce current and also the potential different produce a voltage that's why a new solar energy is produced i think that's all thank you